Last Sunday in Tarrant County, three children all under the age of nine were shot in their homes. Two of them died. Those shootings unrelated, they happened within hours of each other. In studio with us this morning is Democratic State Representative Terry Mesa from Irving. And joining the questioning as always, Bud Kennedy from the Fort Worth Star Telegram. Good morning, Good morning Bud. Teresa. Terry. Good morning, Good morning, Terry. Thank you for coming in. As a freshman in the last legislative session, you proposed some amendments to a bill regarding gun safety in homes, but you were met with some resistance. So tell us what happened. Well, originally the bill was laid out before the committee that I sit on, Human Services Committee, to change and weaken the protections about storage of guns in foster homes. Mm -hmm. The rule was specifically about foster homes. And so the rule said for guns to be stored separately. The representative that was laying out the bill said that that weakened his access or caused him problems in having greater access to guns and he wanted them put in the same box. So he wanted to change the rule from separately to same box. I told him that I understood his desire to have greater access to guns. I would like for him to appreciate my desire for the children in the household not to have greater access to guns, especially since the rule was about foster children who are particularly vulnerable, been through a lot of trauma. So uh, he said he would consider it. And then I checked back with him later and he said that uh, he, he was concerned about the cost. So when, he, when the bill was voted on in committee, I unfortunately was the lone vote against his bill. Uh, for whatever reason, the other people didn't see it the same way I did. So it did get voted out of committee and went to the House floor. So I approached him on the House floor and asked him had he checked into the cost since he was concerned about it. And he said no, that he actually told me that he considered my proposal absurd. My proposal was that I would let him have his gun stored in the same box if he took address his desire to have greater access to his guns if he would make them a keyless box. Use his thumbprint, use a combination, something that actually he would have better access, right? Because he always has his thumbprint and his combination in his mind with him rather than having to hunt for a key himself if there were a break-in during the night. And that the children wouldn't have and the household wouldn't have greater access to it because they would not have access to his thumbprint or his combination. He called my suggestion absurd I actually thought it was very reasonable. <laughs> uh, so I did tell him that I intended to propose an amendment. The House floor doesn't like for you to, to ambush members with a surprise amendment. So I let the floor know when I pre uh, presented the amendment that it, I'd already discussed it with him and that he had not amended his bill, as I'd suggested, uh, because he was concerned about cost. So that I had checked into the cost and at the tractor supply, right there in his hometown in Corsicana, he could get it for X dollars. At the Walmart, in most people's towns, he could get it for a similar amount. And Amazon, which is available everywhere, a similar amount. So it really wasn't uh, cost prohibitive that it was affordable. He still opposed the amendment and made a motion to table. And when he made his motion to table, uh, dozens, it seemed like all of them, of the Republican uh, House members who supported of him came to the mic and surrounded him. I got pushed back up against mm -hmm. the dais and in support of his bill. So it, uh, the amendment uh, did not pass. Uh, it voted on in an 80-60, more or less, lines. Clearly you were trying to do something you thought would protect people in their homes. We hear when, when mass shootings happen, there's hysteria, so much coverage. But sometimes these shootings in the homes and crime on our street corners is what really affects people more. Do you think that this is a, a situation we should have legislation or is this about personal responsibility? It's up to the individual gun owner to protect that gun in the right way inside their home. Well, a lot of our laws could be called personal responsibility, mm -hmm. whether it's uh, stealing or killing or whatever. But I, no, I do think it's something that needs legislation. And I think we do have some legislation about uh, gun storage in the home that, s that imposes uh, prison time and fines. But I think most of the time we're hesitant to enforce that legislation because frequently it's the parents who have just lost a child and so right. they're grieving and we hate to impose uh, penalties on them but if we never impose it then maybe the imposing the penalty would not stop it from happening but it might stop 
or it might encourage people who have guns to be more careful about how they store them. Mm -hmm. Terry, let's be real here about the politics. You're a freshman Democratic legislature and a Republican House. Uh, I'm looking at the Texas Republican Party position on guns. It says uh, we affirm that lawful gun ownership uh, guards against tyranny by our own government. Uh, says that we support uh, you know anyone allowing to carry guns, any legally guns, uh, any legally owned guns openly or concealed, and it opposes any sort of restrictions on firearm storage. This is what the Republican Party says it wants. Republicans dominate Austin. What's the the reality of trying to pass any sort of rule at all in Austin? Well, you know, there a wiser man than I am I once said that uh, darkness can't cast out darkness and hate doesn't drive out hate. Only love can do that, only light can do that. But it seems like when we get to the legislature and we talk about guns, the answer is more guns. And that's what happened this past legislative session. The NRA got everything they asked for. Uh, so now we're gonna have more guns in apartments, more guns at schools, more guns, um, I think foster homes as we talked about and we just had the flooding recently we passed a bill saying that guns could be carried around even if they didn't have a concealed uh, license to carry whatever concealed handgun license that they can carry around guns in uh, disaster areas so uh, our answer to guns was more guns and I think that's the wrong direction do to go you want to take up AR-15s do you want to collect everyone's AR-15s like Beto uh, I don't think we should have weapons of war on the city streets. I say that as a, a daughter of someone who served in World War II, three brothers who all served in the military, and I was actually an ROTC sweetheart at UTA, and I was the <laughs> sweetheart of the rifle team. So, uh, so I have a, some familiarity with guns, although I do not keep one in the house because I don't have a desire to kill anybody. I think uh, that we do need to take weapons of war off our streets. Now, whether that's a mandatory buyback, but if you don't make it a mandatory buyback, how do you get them off the street? If we ban assault rifles. Thanks, Terry. Representative Mesa, thank you for coming in. We appreciate okay. it.